garden vats from the rejet shop, only about 40 odd dollars each. Reasonably useful. Uh, as you can see to the right hand side of me, there's all potatoes, looks like cucumbers, beetroot, char, and spinach, baby spinach up the other end. And then to my right now, I go to my house with other vegetables, snow peas, corn, uh, carrots, radishes, and tomatoes, and some rocket, and it's still a bit on the far end. Um, just gonna pick this up. <coughs> As you can see, I continue on down. I'm using half 44 gallon drums, plastic ones, cut either in half or in long ways half. Um, large pots. It's a bathtub with celery in it that I got for free. Utilizing what I can, what I can achieve from around my area. We continue down you can see I have a fair few more of these same garden beds with some um, silver beet some lemongrass some lettuces this one here is actually got uh, ginger in it I've got mesh over the top to stop animals digging it up while it's under the ground dormant and you continue on I've still got, I've got more, I've got more potatoes to the left hand side of the video, I've got some bay leaf trees, and the other side this is a garden bed that I made out of scrap material, this has got asparagus in it, this is uh, about two years old, and then you continue on again, and I've got corn for the upcoming season, there's uh, some nice sweet corn, and then you continue around and this is this is my chook pen which you can't really see but that's my chooks and uh, that's a, a passion fruit vine and then I've got another bay leaf tree some more, some more potatoes sweet potatoes and then I've, I'm also growing in styrofoam boxes which are um, free from the local IGA and there's currently spring onions, turmeric, and there's some chives down the bottom, and there's going to be some onions put in these these uh, uh, worm farm containers. These are from a worm farm I got for nothing. Let's get some ginger in a pot, some turmeric in a pot, and then I've got some lemongrass. As you continue, I've got coriander lemongrass, some oregano, some thyme, this is a potato that I've just topped up and then as you continue along more potatoes, this is a Bulgarian rainbow chili, and some more potatoes and then a strawberry. Just moving back over towards the chook pen, I've got some more spring onions, some brown onions, and some more spring, add some more brown onions on the end here as well. I have a mixed breed of chickens. There's Sussex, some commercial layers, and some Isa Browns. And then there's also a cross, couple of crossbreed um, Australops as well. Very good production. Don't lay all, all the time, don't lay every day, but they're cheap they're to uh, maintain and easy to look after. Now back to where my corn is, this is currently, this is a dragon fruit, there's currently six plants along this fence, all have product, product, produce, all produce fruit, it's red, it's beautiful, sweet, full, full size, uh, easy to grow, and um, blocks out a little bit of the, the gaps in the fence, and takes the eye away from what is a timber fence that's starting to deteriorate. Moving back down here, I've got some radishes that are doing quite well. These are some of these radishes are actually nearly ready to be picked. Uh, 
sorry about the sniffling and snorting and that I'm currently sick and then out the front I have another garden bed in amongst in amongst that garden bed there's some bok choy over to the left hand side some more beetroots because I like beetroot some more beetroot just here in front of me and then I've got some rocket moving out to the front of my house I have a bowen mango tree that's probably about 12 or 13 years old I have a lemon tree that's probably about the same and then I have a very large peach tree that's probably only about 18 or so months old pomegranates which I got given from the local swap an orange tree which is about the same it's probably about two years old mandarin uh, grapefruit which is the next one and then I have a uh, lemonade tree and my very large mulberry tree which I have currently this year I've trimmed back and I have very large amounts of good growth on it and plenty of mulberries <coughs> which you can see better from this angle but they're very very sweet and uh, I will get a very large crop off them this year which I'm hoping to turn into jam or jelly or something like that maybe a compote and then if you come down I'm, I'm utilizing the space underneath those trees for growing parsley and this is the last fruit tree here which is a mandarin tree 